on, we were kind of prolific as far as brewing goes. So we'd uh, we'd make like 50 gallons in a weekend. Wow. Uh, like I mean, it would be like one in one day. Wow. <laughs> we had our 10 gallon batch thing set up, and we would we uh, we just had we had two burners and one sparging bucket or one hot water tank and one mash kettle. And what we did is we just we keep on get rid of the mash kettle, and we actually employed a couple mash kettles. We employed a couple like just coolers. once we got to for infusion and stuff. Like yeah, that. once we used to do like some crazy mashing things where we like you know we jump in at a hundred and we'd pull out the calf killer quasi decoction and you know burn some <laughs> malt and dump it back in and whatever. But uh, we ended up uh, throwing all that stuff out because we were like, well, if we're gonna do this for real, we're not gonna find a tank. I within the decent limit of money, you know what I'm saying, that's going to be anything else than an infusion mash. So we said we might as well start practicing our infusion mash and get that done. And when that happened, like it opened up a bunch of, we were like, oh crap, we can like have shit sitting in that cooler waiting, have shit sitting in that cooler waiting, you know, have everything mashing. Yeah. Like, so you come in and you mash everything out in the morning and then you get the first one moved and then you start, like you just, this just keeps on going. We just rotate beers through 10 gallon batches. We had enough carboys to fill them all up. And uh, we cultured yeast and whatnot. To, you know, we cultured. We'd buy a vial of yeast and culture it up to where we could do, you know, twenty or forty gallons with it. Wow! So, and that was that was the Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking back uh, to when you first started, mm -hmm. knowing what you know now, what advice would present day you give to yourselves back then that would help you get along quicker? Is there anything that comes uh, to mind? <laughs> Save up your money and buy a really nice chiller. Yeah? Yeah, that's a, a great a plate, one. A, great. a plate chiller. I mean, you cannot... It's not uh, that expensive. I, I mean, mean, we sat for years with the for copper days. coils and oh, shaking it in man. water and run... You'll make a lot more beer with a good oh, freaking man. chiller. Yeah, the, yeah. Thing, the best thing... The, I think the best thing homebrew we ever did was buy a, a, damn, I a plate agree. chiller. That wow. made it possible for us to do, like, the 50-gallon days. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So Otherwise, there, it's like... bouncing freaking I mean, water all over the place. You're, you're running, you're running you know, 10 gallons of beer in 15 oh, minutes. You're chilling... You're ch I mean, you're chilling, like... It's crazy how fast yeah, it goes. Yeah, fire, as fast as it comes out of the kettle, it's getting nice. Yeah, and effort. so it's like, I mean, build your system to where you you want to go brew on it. Uh, don't. There's always things that are going to be a hassle. Um, oh, dude, I mean, that's easy. That, I mean, that's not something that... No, I know. We didn't like, do that, but... but the, we mean, had that is, god dang uh, chiller. That chiller I know. did it all, man. Right, and the thing is, like, you need to, like, go through and, like... Uh, you know, make sure you want to be able to, like, you want to go brew. Um, right. Don't, like, you know, go, oh, man, I got to brew today. Yeah, that's I mean, if it's, if it's getting to where it's like, oh, I got to brew today, it's like, man, then it's, you know, just go out and, like, and change a couple things or perhaps pick up a new hobby. <laughs> I don't know, but, like, actually changing a couple things, like that chiller, it yeah, was never it a pain was... in the ass to go brew, but it was like, you're always, it was a pain in the ass to get to that point in the brew where you're mm -hmm. like, oh, no, and I've got to chill the brew, you know what I'm saying? Right. And, that was, and for us, I mean, that was the biggest thing is like, uh, when we got that thing, man, it was yeah, just we, like, we actually, oh, man, this is awesome. The name drop, we bought the Blitchman, uh, what is it called? The Thermidor, man. Thermidor. Mm -hmm. the Bl I mean, yeah. and so it's just like, man, it was like, it was it was probably the uh, the best investment we bought. Best $200 homebrewers. ever spent on home brewing. <laughs> and they're probably cheaper than that they now. They may be cheaper than that now. Um, uh, I would say. But, um, so yeah, so it's like that. And then, uh, I don't know. Brew what you like. Uh, don't, you know, you can set out to like, you know, to, to brew a bunch of styles, but I mean, if you're not happy with the beer that you're, you're making at home, uh, you need to brew stuff that you like and mm -hmm. just kind of make sure you make, it, make beers that you enjoy drinking because when it comes down to it, I mean, you're going to be the one to drink the beers and, and, <laughs> and, you know, I don't know, whatever. Did you find that the chiller helped your beer quality, like with a better cold break and that kind of stuff? Not or necessarily. No, but actually, this was a, a time It was a time, time saver. Time saver. Okay. It was a huge time saver. Uh, the, yeah, the cold break didn't... Yeah, there was no noticeable huge difference, because uh, we always did... Although, the only cool thing that it allowed us to do is actually allowed us to whirlpool with our wood spoon hmm. before the uh, before it was... Because we'd whirlpool with some spoon that had to be sanitized and shit. Like, when, it's, when the boil was done, we would whirlpool heavy, and it was still hot, so you didn't have to worry about your wood spoon. Right. And then, 
pull the wood spoon out and the whirlpool settle down and then you get all your shit ready and like uh it, it made goes, that nice everything so everything comes to the center and then you're because uh -huh. otherwise you have to clean. like chill it and then whirlpool it with a thing and then wait and then you're it's it's just a pain in the ass. A chiller is a good thing to have. Cool. Period. I think that was like great advice, Dave. Because um, that's the thing. I, I mean, that's the thing I, I know the most it about is the thing. It's about homebrewing. It's like, dude, man, we got that chiller. Shit, we can make thousand of here, man. <laughs>